guys, we are back on days today or the rest of the rotation. I'm so tired. And honestly, when this morning's alarm went off, I was just like, what the heck, why? Hi guys, I kind of wanted to just do an update. I'm just leaving the hospital now. It is currently 7.15. So I stayed like, I want to say two hours over. Um, there was a surgery complication. I was in surgery all day. I literally just ate this protein bar because I really didn't eat much else today, so I'm gonna go home, eat dinner, shower, study, and that's gonna be it for today because it's too late to do anything else. Good morning, guys. It's really rough. I'm so tired today. I'm on vascular surgery. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yesterday I scrubbed into two cases. The day prior, I scrubbed into two. Good morning, guys. It is currently 4.35. Um, this is the time I leave my house. It's so dark outside um, and I kind of drive with like no one on the road, which is like good and a bad thing. But like I literally like doing five shifts a week, 12 hours and even sometimes more because these surgeries go over like my shift time. I'm so tired and I feel like I have pressure ulcers basically on the bottom of my feet because I'm standing for like three surgeries a day and I'm on my feet the whole time. So I need to like just like be horizontal for a really long time. Good morning guys. It is 5.15. Just got to the hospital and I'm not gonna lie, driving this early in the morning for like that much amount of time is so dangerous because I feel like I'm half asleep and like groggy but gotta do what you gotta do to get here on time and just be as safe as possible so if that means driving like slower than everyone else that's what i have to do i'm just gonna eat like my peanut butter sandwich for breakfast in the car because i don't feel like going inside yet even though i have to change i think it's okay if i'm like a minute or too late luckily today there's no scheduled OR cases so I'm gonna be in the cath lab and then also just like on the floor rounding helping the residents do what they need to do on the floor this entire week I've been in the OR pretty much every day and they do a lot of like fluoroscopy in vascular so you have to wear lead really heavy because you need to make sure that you're protecting like your upper body lower body and your neck K kudos to people who do ir because that suit is so heavy and especially when you're in the or and you're wearing it for like five six hours at a time it, it's just like a workout i don't think i could do that like 7 10 and i'm still at the hospital i'm just leaving now i scrubbed into three cases today and what's exciting was that i was like first assist for the resident because the attending had to step out so i was bovying which i've never been able to do before so it was really cool and yeah that was just like a new experience for me um we it was a the formation of a fistula which if you don't know is um, when they connect an artery and a vein together to make a port for hemodialysis. So that's what I did. I'm gonna go home now because I'm hungry. We're gonna study a little bit and then do this all over again. Hi guys, I just got home. I'm about to shower, take off my skincare stuff. Today, the attending I was working with complimented my sutures and I was also with the PA that I worked with in the beginning of my rotation and she um, was the one that kind of like let me close ports at the end of a case. Today I was working with her again and I was able to like show her my stitches and she was like, wow, these look really nice. Like you've come a really long way. And um, it's just like so encouraging when the attending and the PA both compliment you on your sutures. Um, and see, the thing is like, I like 
surgery because of the procedures and like doing all of that stuff with my hands. I don't know if I love surgery enough to do it as a career. And that's something that I kind of like want to figure out. Today, since I got home a little bit earlier than I usually do, I'm going to study for a little bit. And um, I've been falling asleep at like 9.30 every day, which is kind of crazy. But that's what happens when you wake up at four in the morning. Hi everyone. Quick, exciting update. Today, I was in a case from 7.30 to around like 2.30. My feet were literally crying. I was wearing my hokas, which was like a plus because there's a lot of cushion on the bottom, but I was not expecting that case to be so long. But at the end, I was able to close and the resident was like doing running subcutaneous on the large incision and there were four ports that needed to be closed. And so while she was suturing the large incision, I closed all four ports by myself. And um, I've never done more than two ports like in a single case. So the fact that I did four, that's a milestone for me. I got to leave a little early today and so I'm going to try to get some studying done because it's almost the end of week four and I still have not read everything. So I'm a little behind. Also today is extremely hot. So I'm gonna shower and sit in the AC for as long as possible because this is this is not it. Hi everyone! Hello! Look who I'm with. And then there's Crystal. In the back. She's not popping out. Oh, there she is. We went thrifting today and then um, I would say it's like pretty successful. We bought a lot of stuff. So we kind of just wanted to show you guys what we got. Well, first off, I got this hoodie. It's a Calvin Klein hoodie. Ooh, it's so soft. It's so soft. Like I really liked the texture. It's oh, almost it's like, like um, velvet, yeah, almost. But it, so it might. It does feel a little heavy, mm. I guess. But I mean, I thought it was cute. Mm -hmm. like, it has a nice color. It was eighteen dollars. Why not? I was looking for a hoodie anyway. I like it's like a zip up hoodie because I need one at work. I have so many. Like, are you no, I need one at work or yeah no okay. I, I needed to leave one at work and I have one at home that I wanted to leave there so this mm -hmm. is gonna be the one for home mm -hmm. this is a dress oh, that's so I cute. didn't even get to try it on but I thought the design was so cute where is it from John Galt California oh it's brandy oh yeah it's brandy Melville really yeah I did not know that <laughs> okay I just got it it's $12 yeah, Very I think cool. the pattern's cute. And I'm a little confused because I don't know if this one has to go on the back or front, but I think it could be cute either way. Thank you. And then this is a shirt that I got. Very simple. It's just a white shirt. But mm -hmm. I figured it would be good for work. Work and regular stuff. Like, that's what I'm trying to do with my closet is, like, get stuff that can I can wear to work and also mm -hmm. wear casually. So this is going to be super casual. I never wear shorts to work because of where I work. <laughs> but um, this is gonna be nice. These are Calvin Klein jeans. Ooh. Yeah. And I thought the color was this. I'm always running out of jeans because sometimes at home, like when I'm you back, tried those on? No. No. But I did the thing around my neck and okay. I like I tried on this thing. So I tried on this thing, which is a skirt, and this was like the tightest thing when I held it around my mm -hmm. neck. When I tried it on in the bathroom, it worked. It, okay. it fit. So then I was like, this one should fit. It's okay. stretchier too, the Calvin Klein one. So that's it. I really like the color. It's like so royal pink. So I only got three things, but um, first, yeah, I got a pair of shorts um, from Madewell, and these were seven dollars. I feel like the like good. the quality is pretty yeah. good. And then I got a graphic tee. This is my favorite find of yours. This is from Urban Outfitters. It's like a koi fish. And then it was $7. Nice. Um, it's also like a men's t-shirt and there's oh. uh, some dust on it, which I did not see before, but that's- That's fine. Yeah, we just can wash, wash that. that. We're gonna wash all of these. Yeah, and then the last thing I got is this Alphalete top. This is like a workout top and this was $11. Ta -da. I've never seen her decide to buy something so fast. I know, yeah, no, so I literally she saw it. it out and she's like, I'm getting it. Yeah. Oh, is this like, like a really good that. brand? <laughs> it's a very, like, it's a very expensive brand. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, and I've always wanted something from here, but like their shirts and pants are always like $50. So I'm not spending not like that. that much, yeah. <laughs> that makes it fun. <laughs> Self-control. 
Is it just a t-shirt? Oh yeah, like I was, fashion. yeah. She didn't want it, so I'm buying it. I thought it was navy blue. It is. It is. Oh, it looks black in this lighting. I feel like the camera yeah. always makes things I got these funny. shorts that Ooh, are from are Uniqlo. They're like athletic and they have pockets. You can get pockets. Can I show this? It's a free people Ooh. bralette. That's a cute color. Yeah. And then I got another Ralph Lauren t-shirt. I just want to wear big shirts at home. Because <laughs> all I have are like tank tops. And I don't want to wear that at home. And then I got these black shorts. These look good. From HM. And I want like longer baggies. Oh my god, you still have more? Yeah! <laughs> what the I thought that was it. And then I got this jacket that's also from HM. This one looks good. Really I hate it, it like because it. of the. The pat, like what is it called? The print? It's no, the texture. The texture. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, yeah, like it reminds me of like an old, like lady who's going to afternoon tea with her best friend. Yeah, but I think that's a look that she's like not old lady yeah. look, but she's like going for it's that like old preppy, money. like yeah. old money look. Yeah. And then that's just not my style. <laughs> a blazer. This looks good. Yeah, I like this one. There's only. $7. Like Both these blazers were yeah. like $7. Yeah. It's just crazy. I would say that Savers has like a better pricing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's something I did notice. We went to <laughs> Savers and we also went to Plato's Closet. Closet. Yeah. Yeah. Plato's Closet. Um, Plato's Closet, I feel like the styles and stuff that they have like available is like young. young and like it fits us better, like style wise mm -hmm. and like preferences. But um, the pricing is. It, it's still good, yeah. but it's like more expensive yes. than Savers. Savers, like I literally picked up a shirt that I kind of regret not getting now because it was like two. It was like three dollars. Whoa! That 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 zip. Oh, up, the zip up one. Yeah. Okay. But then I didn't like how it fit around like the top of my chest, so I was like, mm. never mind. But it was yeah. like three dollars. Yeah. Like that's really. It's okay because we're gonna give you clothes anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I get. Yeah. yeah. Crystal has some clothes that she's like. A lot of tanks. Okay, mm -hmm. I will take a look at that. We will take a look. We will see. Mm -hmm. Um, now we're gonna go eat dinner. I'm so hungry. So we'll see you later. Bye. I'm currently at school, and I'm here because I went to the gym. But now I'm going to print out study material, and then I'm gonna go study with Maggie later. Wow, it just got really dark in here. Haven't been on campus in a while. Kind of forgot what it looked like. Good morning guys. Today is Monday and it is 4.32. It is the last day of rotations for me forever. Today is my last day of rotations um, on my surgery rotation, but also this is my last rotation. So I won't be going on clinicals anymore. This marks the end of my journey as a clinical year PA student, which I think is so crazy because I honestly feel like it went by so fast and it's just crazy that I've been going to the hospitals for a whole year and now I'm going back to school to do research. Today I'm still on trauma, so hopefully either I get to scrub in or I get to see something cool. The last week that I've been on trauma I haven't seen any traumas yet so I've just been doing floor work helping out with dressing changes things like that but I've seen a couple of traumas on my other days that I have been in the hospital so it's not like I haven't seen any traumas at all all right um, I'm gonna get going I have a chocolate croissant with me as my breakfast hi guys um, I just I'm leaving the hospital now and I just finished my shift. They actually let me go early today because there were a lot of students and I didn't, I was helping on the floor, but nothing was really happening. So we did a couple of wound changes, saw a couple of patients, just like managed the patients we already have. And um, they sent me home. They were like, you did so well. And you know, they knew it was my last day. So they just told me to go home for now. Yeah, honestly, it's been a wild, wild ride to think that I'm done with clinicals now. It's crazy. I'm going to post a quick like 
Instagram story about how I'm done and that's about it. Like I'm pretty much gonna go home, study the next couple days for my exam and hopefully I pass and then I'm taking a break from all of this, which is crazy. I had a really nice talk with the PA that I met on my first day here who gave me a lot of advice on like finding a job and things like that. So I'm really, really glad that I was able to talk to him. He told me I could reach out whenever I'm looking for a job, whether I wanna be in surgery or not, and he is willing to help me. So I'm so grateful that I made the connections I did. And I think that's the biggest thing I could ever tell you guys when you're on rotations, it's like, make your connections now right you're a student you have so many people at your arsenal right now to network and to know use this time and make those connections now because it will only help you later on all right Good morning guys um today i woke up at 5 30 and it just like hit me that if it was any regular day i would be at the hospital already which is crazy to think but I just went to the gym this morning and I'm going to go try to study at a cafe for a little bit before noon, which is when I have my um, doctor's appointment. My ear has been bothering me a little bit, so I kind of want to go see if I can get some like eardrops or something. But that's what I'm doing. I did arms back today, then did a little bit of cardio to finish off. and. I haven't worked out in such a long time and so I feel like I've lost a lot of muscle mass so I'm trying to get back into the gym and also eat my protein bars so this is the Bear Bell the Bear Bells protein bars my favorite bars of all time so if you want to try one definitely try that brand um, I'll probably make a protein shake when I get home honestly but I just didn't want to bring it with me everywhere because my sister told me that when you don't rinse the bottle right away, it kind of smells and I just don't want to like deal with that. I'm also going to try to see if I could head over to the mall for a little bit. I'm um, going to a surprise birthday party for someone that I went to high school with. So I want to see if I can like get some gifts for her. Yeah, let's, let's see what the day brings us. I just finished my exam and then we have to wait for the other people to finish and then we're going to do a presentation later.